clothes to do them out. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Welcome to the new house. This is the first video that I've actually filmed in this house. I am for I feel like I've got so much to fill you in on, to be quite honest. I feel like so much happened in like the last, what, two, three weeks? Um, and first of all, I'm so sorry that I've not vlogged. It's just been absolutely manic and I had all intentions of like doing moving vlogs and all that kind of stuff and then when it's come to it, it's just, I literally not had the time for anything. I have looked like an absolute troll for the whole two weeks. I've not had time to find my camera, to charge it up, to edit, to do anything. Like we're a week now into the new house and this is the first time that I felt like, okay, I've got time <laughs> to pick my camera up and I'm not just on like, like a to-do list and schedule for the day and I've actually got a little bit of time. So it is Friday, we've been in the house now, in the new house we moved in last Wednesday, so nine days. We weren't like surrounded by boxes for days or anything like that, but it's just all the other bits and bobs. Um, we're still not 100% sorted uh, in any of the rooms actually. We're still waiting for some fitted wardrobes to be built in our room. Effie's bed has only just come yesterday, that was delayed. So yeah, it's just been absolute chaos. I'm just getting myself ready because today, I'm opening this window, this house is so hot. It's Friday, it is 11 a.m. and me and Rick are about to head out the door to go over to Manchester to pick up the car. Rick wanted some extra things done to the car, he wanted, like the new car. He wanted to get it wrapped and um, so he's done some, I don't know, it's been in, it's been at this like, car wrapping place. So we're heading over to Manchester to go and get it. Um, and we've had zero time together the last, like, I don't know, <laughs> feels like weeks, but we thought we will have a bit of a Friday off work and just go and get some breakfast, go and pick the car up and just have a few hours together. So I'm getting myself ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a minute because I absolutely love, you can see a little bit of it here, it's just a super casual outfit. It's actually from Amazon. I feel like, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm sure you have. I just found it real love for Amazon and buying like, like who knew they had so much fashion on there? And I love how easy it is just to shop. Put out on my Instagram today, uh, yesterday, a styling video with some jeans that I've got, got off Amazon some Levi jeans, I've been living in Levi jeans and also I bought a couple of pairs that's great banging about I bought a couple of pairs of Levi shorts and I plan to live in them in summer but I got these new jeans, oh my god I put them on today I can't show you because you literally can't see it in the camera but I'm going to show you my full outfit in a minute I was inspired after the other week when me and Rick went shopping you know when I took Rick shopping um, and we went into Levi's and tried loads of jeans on for him I saw so many women's ones that I loved but while I was in there, I was like, I'm not paying these full prices for them because I know they're on Amazon so, so much cheaper. Yeah, like it's unbelievable how much cheaper they are on Amazon compared to like the Levi's website. So, that's my makeup done. I've actually been doing my makeup so differently. Can you see how like dewy and glowy it is? I'm hardly wearing any foundation. I've got the tiniest, tiniest drop of foundation on and I've been mixing it in with my serum to give it like more of a dewy like so you can actually see your skin through yeah i'm going to show you let's do a little outfit of the day and show you show you what i'm wearing today because i know you guys are going to love it and the fit on these jeans are just absolutely amazing and they were such such a bargain I actually got quite a few bits off amazon fashion um so i'll show you them now um i might do a little reel as well for my instagram so let me show you my outfit today okay so the first thing that i got was this t-shirt I wanted some like um, like band t-shirts, it's actually tucked up because it's kind of long so you could either just wear it like tucked in like this, I might even like crop it off so it's like a cute little crop for summer but I just searched band t-shirt on, um, no vintage band t-shirt on Amazon Fashion because I wanted some that I could just wear for like casual 
just around the house with jeans and things like this and this is a medium men's it's like a obviously like distressed but I really like it I think it's really cute and then I got these jeans let me put the camera down so I also got these jeans and these are Levi 501s the fit on these are so nice I love the fact that they're like a really good fit on the bum they make your bum look nice um, but they're not too tight around the waist so if you want to wear them with something a little bit cropped you get that kind of like you know like that kind of they're not too tight and they're nice and comfy to wear but then they don't feel like they're falling down and they're just a really cute like mom style jean I'll do a full length little thing here so you can see them properly but these I mean if you've not noticed I'm just living in Levi jeans at the moment and I thought these were so cute but these are actually a 27 waist I think I could have probably got away with a 26 um, but I wanted them to kind of almost fit a little bit looser but I might get another pair in a 26 for when I want um, them just to be like a tighter fit but I wanted some that were more like just a super casual jeans to wear every day like I do like today and they are absolutely perfect the denim, the wash, everything is so good. Also got these trainers. Let me take them off and show you. Oh, I've wanted these for ages. I always think a platform trainer is just such an essential to have in your wardrobe. Like sometimes you need that balance of like a chunkier trainer with certain trousers or skirts. And I wanted these ones. They're the Supergirl. I never, I never heard to say that. Is it Supergirl? So I picked those up and they were an absolute bargain. They were also from Amazon. And then I also got, do you remember when me and Rick went shopping? Um, I think it was the same video when we went to Levi's and I was trying on the sunglasses and I tried on the Ray-Ban, I can't get the shoe back on now. Uh, when I tried on the Ray-Ban Square Sunnies, I was like, no, I'm not sure. I tried them on in Selfridges. I can't remember how much they were, but they were definitely more expensive than what I found them on Amazon for. So I got these also, I've wanted these for so long and they were under £100 on Amazon. They are the square Ray-Bans, you know how much I love my Ray-Bans, I wear them all the time and I just am in love with these, I just think they're such a nice fit. I'm loving like the bigger oversized sunnies at the moment so I was very very happy to see these so I couldn't resist those and I picked those up as well. This is the other thing that I got it's this oversized Dickies sweatshirt. I really like all like the Dickies cargo pants and everything that are in at the moment, but um, I feel like they're just not gonna flatter my shape. So I thought I'd go for something that I know I'll get some wear out of instead. So I got this sweatshirt and I actually love it. I love the fit on it, it's an extra large women's. So it's super big, but I wanted it to be like this. So I just wear it with like cycle shorts and little trainers. It also goes really cute with these sunnies as well and I love this this cute little outfit too. I'm just so surprised on how much time I'm spending shopping on Amazon Fashion. It feels like a little treasure hunt as well because there's so much on there and there's so many goodies that you like you don't find anywhere else and are really individual and you know you don't see everyone wearing. I'm just a big fan of Amazon Fashion at the moment so I'll link these in the description if you want to any of this outfit or the Levi's one but yeah I'm gonna get ready. I don't actually know which outfit to keep on now because I actually feel quite comfy in this and the weather seems really warm today so I might even just keep this one on, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go and see what Rick is doing and get ready to leave. We're gonna go for some, we're actually running a little bit late now so we're gonna decide if we're just gonna go for a coffee and go to Home Sense because <laughs> I really want to go to Home Sense for not been in weeks. Right, I'm gonna go find Richard. We have jumped in the car and come to have a little wander around Home Sense, and we're gonna go get a Costa because actually we're in such a rush. We have nowhere near as much time as I thought we were gonna to have today. Rick's here. Hi, oh, sunglasses. They're big, aren't they? Big, aren't they? they? They're quite big. Um, I've not been on the vlog for a little while. Well, I've not vlogged at all, have I? No. Rick, Rick's very, very hungry, so we're gonna go for, to Costa first. And I just cut my head off. I know, it's because you're too tall. <laughs> and um, get a coffee and something to eat and then I just want to have a wander around home sense. Oh <laughs> that was the most awkward thing ever. 
and look for a few bits and also get some yeah. coffee syrup. So we're gonna get some food first. What's up? No, I was just on the curb. Oh, she's nearly got run over. Should we get a trolley? Oh yeah. Should I get a trolley then? <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? We'll just, do you want one? No, okay, don't get one then. No, no, it's fine. They're nice. Yeah. They were on that website that we saw. I like those chairs actually, Rick. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. I don't like the glass top table, but I like the chairs. Oh, that's what I want, Rick, a sun lounger. I really like these. In the black. They're lovely, aren't they? I don't know if I'm a big fan of an egg chair, though. I'd prefer something a bit bigger. How lovely is that, though? If you grow a tree in the middle of it. You know, for putting a tree in the middle. Oh, yeah. How cute is that? I love that. Wait, these are nice. They're only 20 quid. Why for? I'm just thinking for Effie's bedside tables, one of them each side would be so nice. Do you not I think? Take a Will you take a picture on your phone? They'd be so nice just for a little bedside table. Because those ones she's got are too big. Okay, feel it. That'll take your weight. I've lost a bit of weight, I see. Probably tall. It's just hard to actually sit on. the stone in three weeks. <laughs> Go on then, sit down. It's stone now, isn't it? Stone. Oh, it's comfy, isn't it? That's nice, that would be really nice on the deck in at the top, wouldn't it? Yeah, they'd love it. So nice. Isn't it comfy? 499. It's nice. Do you like it? Come on then. It's like a sex swing. It's what? Sex <laughs> Say that. What? I just feel like we need one bigger one. Yeah, I like those wooden ones that we've got. They're too small. They're not, I like. Well, why do we get a bigger wooden one? Yeah, I like get a bigger one. It's just I don't like the bottom. You get a bowl, get a bowl to put everything in. Thank you, Doug. These are nice. I don't know, but they're nice. They have my mugs. I thought I actually got these from Habitat, but they have them in here. What's that? Table room. Well, that's nice. You know, if you're cooking and stuff down the middle of the table. Yeah, I like it. How much is that? that. It's nice. Nineteen pound ninety-nine. I like that. It's nice. That's a good find. Yeah. What about? What about getting something like this just for the on the island then? A bit if you wanted a bigger one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean when you've got all them little? Or I like the ones like this. But more like, um, not an elephant, like just a really rustic-y, like, shape, you know? Mm. I don't know. It, but it's handy if you've got it. I don't think I do want that. I think it's going to be too much. Because we've got those mats that are like this. Yeah. And they're fine, aren't they? Got some more of this. This is the only salt we really use now, because it's better for you. Is it better for you, Rick? Yeah. Less sodium, I think. Ooh, that sounds nice. Buttercream coffee. Gonna be else obsessed with wooden chopping boards at the moment. <laughs> I feel like I could just fill my, my kitchen with all kinds of different chopping boards. This is nice, Rick. These are my favorite kinds of syrups. Skinny ones. I go for vanilla, I think. And maybe caramel. Okay, yeah. Vanilla for me and a salted caramel, because I know Max absolutely loves salted caramel anything. Rick's had to 
go and run back around to Costa for a wee. He says it's because um, he's drunk loads of water, but actually we all know it's just because he's old. <laughs> what is it with men and needing a wee so much? I kind of want to get a big basket to have by the front door because I'm sick of tripping over shoes. So I thought they get a big basket, they can all just pop their shoes in there. Like that would work with a lid. Look neater, wouldn't it? I'd like one like this, but with a lid. I need to get a nice pot for my dying plant and find a new home for it. What about this one? No? Try it. What do you like? Or do you want one like raised? It's got to go somewhere else as well. This is, this is quite nice. I think I'm going to get this one. No, I think I like that other one to be honest. Better. Yes, please, and I'll grab the basket. We've got a little outdoor heater here, babe. 60 quid. That's a bargain, isn't it? I like that. Got my pot. All the goodies in. Is there anything? Really We are in the mini because um, the discovery is gone, obviously, in the garage. So, I think the plan is I'm gonna drop Rick off, is that right? And yeah. then head back for the kids, and you're gonna sort the car out, aren't you? We have made it back from Manchester. What an absolute chaos that has been for the last hour. Rick somehow managed to beat me back from Manchester, even though he left about 10 minutes before. Uh, 10 minutes after 15 15 minutes after i don't know what way my sat nav took me so we've just come home got the kids and then they've just gone to football practice so we've just come to grab a coffee coffee mate coffee in peace well no. and take it off and watch the football it is such a lovely evening so it'd be actually really nice to go and have a little chat with the football mums in the sun so i think i'm going to get an iced frappe Oh yeah, I might join you. Yeah. What well, a fucking chill, exciting yeah. life we lead, don't we? Don't we just? We've just dropped the kids off at football. What's oh. happening with Max? He's at his nan's. We need to come um, pick him up? No, uh, the guy he's going up with his cousin. Um, Has he got his stuff? Yeah, yeah, he's going oh. to sort it out. I've, I've been invited around for tea as well. They're having pizza and oh. <laughs> southern fried wraps. Nice. So I said, uh, um, then you left, send it up. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to go and get coffee then go up to the kids football and then i don't even know what we're gonna do for dinner tonight what do you fancy something quick and easy I'm, should we just do pizzas or something i'm bothered i have a blueberry muffin now glass of wine i'm going to look at i'm going to order some garden furniture tonight are you i am yeah i'm fed up i want the garden we've got the garden well, you we're going to be the live on the lawn you, you can't use that well you can't enjoy can't that lawn. garden you can't use the lawn anyway yeah because no, it's not allowed on the grass enjoy that garden until you put that fence up to keep well, the it won't take me long to do that well job for you this well, weekend. Well, I take it, it's, garden furniture is not coming tomorrow, is it? No. So what's the rush? No. I will show you all the little bits and bobs that we got from HomeSense and I also we give I need a little catch up with you girls so I will let you know um, a little bit of a, we'll do a little bit of a life update as well once yes. I actually get 10 minutes to sit in peace later. Yes. Oh my goodness. I just got back from football I'm actually so tired I've just opened the fridge and I was like oh my god I have this much wine left in the fridge so I'm gonna pour myself a nice little glass of wine um they're literally just having pizzas because I am so unbelievably tired and then when Rick gets back Rick's actually still at football with um Max because Max does a later football and then when he gets back, I'm going to show you the little bits that I got from HomeSense. I just got loads of like random little things really. Um, but I thought while I pour myself this glass of wine, one sec. So I thought while I put myself, pour myself this glass of wine, we could have a little catch up because um, I actually have something really exciting to tell you. And I've not spoken about it on YouTube because um, I've not been on YouTube to tell you. Um, yeah, so I've not done any vlogs or videos or anything like that to tell you. 
but I have the most but I have the most amazing news. So I I don't know what, oh, do you know what, it's been that long since I last did a vlog. I don't even know like where I'm up to um, on here with um, basically updating you all on my cancer journey basically. Um, uh, I went for my scan, oh that was the last time I vlogged when I went for my scan didn't I? And I went for my CT scan and I went for my MRI. So basically, oh I know what it was. So. I went to London and I started vlogging um, and I basically did a vlog the day that I got my results back from my scan and I had my consultant calling me. I was at an event and um, I was at the Hairburst event and I had no signal and I was due to get the phone call from my consultant to give me the results from my MRI scan. And if you're completely new here, um, so I was diagnosed with stage two cervical cancer last October. So I had chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and brachytherapy between October and the beginning of January. Um, so I had my three month scan. So the, the doctors that I spoke to last basically said that at the three month scan, they're probably not gonna be able to tell me anything because after my treatment, there'll probably be lots of scar tissue. Um, and so, Alton, stop. Sorry, Alton's whinging, one sec. Um, yeah, so they said to me, when you have, when you have the results from your three month scan, um, have somebody with you when you take the phone call in case it's not good news or, if um, you you know like you might be upset that you might have to have some more treatment or something like that so in my head I was kind of like preparing myself for the worst even though the results even though the feedback from everything had been so positive the whole way through and the last MRI scan I had was for my brachytherapy when I had my brachytherapy and they said there's hardly anything there but even though um, even though the whole way everyone was telling me like it's positive, it's looking good, you can't help but have those horrible feelings and I was just thinking the worst and I think because I was in London waiting for these results it was like deja vu of when I originally got diagnosed because that day I'd been in London at an event and then I had to come back and go for my gynecology appointment and I got told that I had cancer so it just felt like deja vu and I was like Feeling the worst, I'd been speaking to my therapist about it, telling that, telling her how nervous and anxious I was about it, and how everything was just like it. Just I can't explain it. No matter how positive things are, when you have cancer, you I just feel like you always think the worst, and you always are thinking, well, what if it's spread? What's going kind of into my lymph nodes? So I was so nervous about it. Anyway. I was at the event, I had no signal. Um, for some reason, I just couldn't get signal on my phone. So the whole afternoon I was thinking, my doctor's gonna be calling me and I can't get through. So we left the event, oh, <laughs> left the event and I got a voicemail. So I picked up two voicemails from my consultant. The first one just saying she was trying to call me and then the second one saying, um, I can't get through to you, but I want you to let I want to let you know that the scans look all good and everything's looking really positive and I'll call you next week. Um, and we'll schedule in another consultation over the phone because they're only doing them over the phone at the moment because of COVID. Um, and we'll chat then. So I was so relieved. I was like, oh my god, thank God it's good news. She said, I don't want to say too much on a voicemail, but it's all looking positive. I don't want you to worry. So I was over the moon with that result because I got told I wasn't gonna get the all clear, but it might be, you might need more treatment or we can't really tell. So to get that news that everything was looking good was like, this is amazing, this is the best news. So then fast forward a week later, I got a call from the receptionist that they were gonna book me in for another phone consultation on the Thursday. So we were here, it was before we'd moved in, and me and Rick were here just doing some jobs and putting Effie's wardrobe up in a room. And um, my phone rang and it was the doctor, and it wasn't my normal consultant. I was, I've been under, um, 
I've been into Dr. Barra Clough at Christie's and this was somebody else I've not spoken to before. So he was asking me how I was, how everything was, how I was doing with everything and I was like I'm absolutely fine because a lot of people have um, side effects after treatment that I've had like after the radiotherapy it can really affect um, your bowel, your bladder, um, your stomach, how you cope eating and I hadn't had any side effects so I was like I'm absolutely fine. My battery is literally flashing at me, my camera's going to die now. Um, so I was like, I'm fine. And then he says to me, so the disease has all gone. And I was like, I nearly fainted. I was like, pardon? <laughs> he was like, the cancer, it's all gone. And I was just like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I nearly fainted on the spot because I just wasn't expecting that result. And I was like, okay. And he said, it's completely gone. There's nothing there. Everything's looking amazing. The treatment has worked so well. And I just could not take it in. I just burst into tears. He was like, so we'll scan you again in another three months. If you need us any time between then, then call up or if you've any concerns. And I was like, no, no, that's fine. He said, we'll scan you for the next five years. It'll, but it'll go from three months to six months to 12 months. And I just could not believe it. I got off the phone. I burst into tears. I gave Rick the biggest cuddle. I told all my family, like, it's gone. I can't, like, I'm getting emotional now. I was just talking about it. But I just, even now, I'm like, what the hell? And that's kind of why I've had two weeks off from vlogging because I've just been, I needed to take it in. I just could not get it into my head. I was, like, not expecting to get the all clear so soon. I couldn't believe that it's been, like, seven months and it's just done and it's gone and it just hit me that like everything I've been going through I feel like I've been like tensing up just just being like get through it get through it get on with it and then just to get that all clear it was like everything just hit me at once and it was really emotional and it was really like it was just hard I felt like I was trying to just like deal with everything and, and like think about everything and process everything that had gone on um so yeah I, I, I don't know, I've got the all clear, it's gone, it's absolutely amazing and the doctors have been so good and I also feel very very lucky that I had the trial so I went on an MR, MR Linac machine for my radiotherapy and I think it is that that has given me the most precise treatment like that has made me have no side effects, it's not affected my bladder, my bowel and I'm just like over the moon and so thankful to the doctors and everyone and the nurses at Christie, like the um, the girls on the MLINAC literally pulled me through that whole treatment. They were so kind to me every single day on the days when I, I'm getting emotional now, on the days when I just literally felt like I couldn't go on and I was in such a state, they were so kind to me. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, they were just amazing. I need to send them a card, like I need to just write them a, a card and a letter and just thank them because honestly I'll be forever grateful to them. They were the, the most lovely, lovely girls. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I've got the all clear. So I've been processing it for the last two weeks and getting my head around it and that's basically why I've not vlogged because I felt like I couldn't even pick my camera up I didn't know what to do I just needed like two weeks to just not be on social media and just get my head around it and just spend some time with with Rick and the kids and like getting here and getting to the house and it just feels like such a fresh start to like be here and also have the all clear and um yeah I'm just so so happy and grateful so yeah that's my little update um Obviously, it's just great news. And also, just like such a big thank you to all you girls because you girls on Instagram and YouTube have just like, you've just had my back the whole way through and you've just been like spurring me on and being like, come on, like you, you've just, you don't know how much it's meant to me and how much it's helped me on those days when they were, it was really bad. So, thank you. I genuinely like, appreciate every single message from you all um so yeah that's the update i'm cancer free like can you believe it um that's my alexa that's the alexa going off for the kids pizza so i'm just going to pause it here and charge my battery because it's flashing at me 
Um, and then we'll go through and I'll just show you the bits I got from Home Sense as well. So I've just got myself um, in my dressing gown. I feel so tired tonight. Um, so excuse the state of me, but I have just tried a new cleansing balm for the first time and it felt so good. I've used the, um, the Elemis cleansing balm before, but this new one was, um, I'll put it on the screen. I can't think what it was called now off the top of my head and it's all the way upstairs. Um, I think it was called Superfood Cleansing Balm. Yay. But oh my goodness. It is so good. My skin feels so good after using that. But yeah, super quickly because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm going to go and get in bed after I've done this. So I've got my plant here. So I also wanted to ask you girls for some advice. So I had this plant in the old house. So I brought it here and I gave it a really good water and I set it outside for the day in the sun and watered it and then it was in the kitchen. Now the kitchen here is so sunny. It gets like from about 12 o'clock till sunset. It gets like direct sun sunlight. So I thought, you know what, it's gonna absolutely thrive in this kitchen. I've been watching it every day and it was looking good. And then yesterday, just literally straight within the space of like 12 hours, it started wilting and going yellow. So for a start, I don't know what plant this is called. So if anybody can tell me what this is, what plant this is, that would be really helpful. And number two, where does it need to go? Do I need to put it in a shady spot, a cool room, a warm room? I need some help with it. I'm not very good at house plants and I really want to keep this alive. So. I also had it in like a wicker basket which was falling apart, which is why, so that was why I wanted to buy, I can't even move this now, <laughs> it's brought it in, I can't even move the thing. It's why I wanted to buy the pot, because I wanted to repot it. Whoops. I think it's actually an outdoor pot, but I, I feel like it just is so nice and it's going to look really nice with our aesthetic in the house. So yeah, I'm just gonna really quickly show you the bits and bobs we got from Home Sense. It's nothing like overly exciting. We got some new knives. Rick wanted some knives. So we got this chef's knife for meat and things like that. And then we got this set. Super non-exciting. I also got the dogs some toys. I got, if I squeak this now, they're gonna go crazy because they're literally like the other side of this door but it's like a squeaky one. We also got, Mary doesn't make home toys, but Elton quite likes a toy. So we got a squeaky one to give him when we go out, so it's not really, really annoying us. And then we also got this one, it's like a rusty one, so I think he's gonna like that as well. So we've got some of those. I also got these um, like eco-friendly, planet-friendly sponges. Uh, these are non-scratch ones. I also need to get some sift because we've got um, quartz in the kitchen and the guy who fitted it for us uh, was showing us how to get stains or marks out. Um, so we needed some non-scratch sponges. So I got those. And then I actually changed my mind on the skinny syrups because they had loads that were uh, on sale, so they usually like four pounds in Home Sense, but they had loads uh, half price. So I got these that were two pounds instead. So I got the salted caramel pretzel one, and then I got the this one looks so nice uh, caramel fudge waffle because I just figured, like, do you know what? Syrups basically taste the same, don't they? They just taste like sugary. <laughs> Didn't think, really think it made much difference. And then I got the Himalayan salt because honestly, this is like much more of like a natural salt so it's just better for you i can't remember where i heard about pink rock salt but um apparently it's better for you than normal like table salt and then i also got these because i thought i would make the kids some really nice like smoothie ice lollies so i'll probably do that this weekend so yeah i'm gonna put this plant in the pot instead yeah I think that's good I just need I don't know where I'm going to put it for now um, I actually have like here 
you're sat on a big like parcel shelf that Rick's gonna put outside the house. So when he moves this tomorrow, I think I'm gonna leave it in the hall for a few days and see if it does any better. Hello, doggies. So, oh, I've got you a toy. Be careful. Sit down then. Sit. Good boy. There you go. Take the toy. Do you want a toy? Do you want a toy? You can have the squeaky pig. Is that nice? Is that good? <laughs> Is that going to just annoy you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you not like the toys? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, this. What time is it? It's quarter to ten. Quarter to ten, and I'm just sitting down to do some work. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. Do you not right. want to share what you're working on? What we're working on is my fitness app. Mm -hmm. so we're going to start picking up with Beth now because she's got the old claim. She wants to get back into training. It sort of made us think that it could be something that. Oh my god, that is so annoying. <laughs> it's like. It's like when you're trying to watch a film and one of your kids is sat there with a packet of crisps. For the last year, I'd say, maybe even longer, since lockdown basically, any workouts and stuff that I've been doing have been things that Rick has um, put together for me. And I've been doing a lot of like bodyweight stuff. I was doing lots of like booty band training and stuff in the gym. And they were all workouts that Rick put together for me. So, so Rick has been putting it all together in a format that uh, we can share with you guys. So if you're wanting like workouts to do at home, um, and basically if you just want to know what I do to stay in shape, like after kids and getting older, and especially like now that I'm going through this early menopause, um, you can basically just train along and do the workouts that I do. Uh, and Rick will be putting them all on the app and also doing like a weekly catch up. Um, where you can like ask questions about basically anything to do with like fitness or what you're eating or what your goals are and Rick will be available available for an hour to give you his knowledge and expertise as a personal trainer and also just for us to share like how we live a healthy lifestyle not only as like a couple both in like I don't want to say middle age because we're not quite middle age yet oh, yeah, but we are middle -aged. <laughs> You, you know, like I'm late 30s, Rick's early 40s, so you know, it gets harder to stay in shape as you get older. So, we're gonna be able to just cool. have that hour to share with you what we do as a family, um, to just stay healthy basically as a family. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but there's more to it as well. There's more that I want to with these lives, is not go too deep in it, but I actually start talking about the mindset about how your mindset and how you how that is ultimately affecting your progress it's you can have every diet you can have the best personal trainer in the world you can have the best workout plan you can give you the best nutrition plan but if your mindset is not in the right place it's completely a, a waste of time so a lot of the stuff i wanted to do on the live was i'm struggling with my diet it's delve into it of why why are you struggling with your diet what's happening, what's routine, what's triggered, what are these triggers that are stopping you? And it's a lot more, not in depth, but it's sort of getting to the root cause, rather than saying, ah, oh, well, if you're struggling, don't grab a packet of crisps, grab an apple. Who the fuck grabs an apple when you're starving hungry? It doesn't happen. If you're having a shit day, your mindset's in the wrong place, you're always gonna go for that comfort food. So yeah, um, it'd be good to get you, your guys' feedback on it. it, whether it is something that you will find helpful or be interested in, in hearing more about because... Um... Or simply, what would you guys want? What would you guys want from a training app? What information do you feel like you need that you don't normally get? What help would you need? That sort of thing. Yeah. It's... Because Rick's, like, Rick's really helped me. Um, Especially because I'm so sorry about all that squeaking. <laughs> that one's running around the island with his little pig. Um, like, this is life. This is what we're on about. This is life. This is normal life. <laughs> this is it. So, uh, look at the eye. <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments, um, and we'll like give you more information on that as it as it kind of goes along. But 
I'm gonna sign this vlog off now because it's getting super long and it's my bedtime. I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna go and mm. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna That's go and I'm having an early night an early night. So um thank you for getting all the way to the end of this vlog and I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back to vlogging more consistently now that I'm feeling a little bit more like in a good place and back to normal so it's always, always good to stay in these vlogs because you never know when i'm going to crop up <laughs> and it's at the end sometimes so you can't cut out early first you've got to put through all the boring shit and get to the real stuff <laughs> me listening to a dog chew a crinkly squeaky pig while I'm trying to work <laughs> no. at 10 do you like your pig oh he loves it so good night for me rick <laughs> No, this and is, we'll see you very soon. This is the look of a very tired, broken man <laughs> trying to work with children and dogs. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to get both up. Good night. <laughs>